Hi everyone, welcome to today's edition of Fox Focus. It is time for Case or No Case. My name is Melanie Ricks and being joined by Jeff Pittman from PKSD Law Firm. Jeff, how you doing? I'm doing great, how are you? Doing well, ready to hear whether or not we have a case. Okay, so your mom, she lives at a nursing home and she has, um, she's you know pretty functional. She can still walk, okay, but she has a little bit of dementia. Your mom has um, had a previously had a stroke, okay? So she is on an anticoagulant. So it could be Eliquis or she could be on Coumadin, but she's on this anticoagulant, okay? Um, to prevent further strokes, that's why they have that. Um, your mom is uh, goes to breakfast. She's able to walk down there. She's able to have her breakfast. As she's walking back to the common area to watch some TV with her friends, she ends up falling, okay, and hits her head. And she gets a pretty good goose egg on her head, all right? now. They check her out on the floor. They make sure they do the neuro checks. She seems to be doing okay. She didn't lose consciousness. She's conscious on the floor. Um, there's really no concern at that time that she had suffered any type of brain injury, okay? Uh, they pick her up, take her back to the room, but they don't call her doctor and let her know that she had fallen even though she's on this anticoagulant and she can suffer a bleed, mm -hmm. okay? Um, they do two hour checks. Every, every two hours, they're checking on her. She's doing okay. But the next morning, they go in to check on her about 8 o'clock in the morning, and your mom's dead. Mm -hmm. She had passed away over the course of the night. Um, it turns out that she did have a brain bleed as a result of the fall and died as a result of that. So case or no case against the facility under that scenario. case for sure. Okay, why do you think it's a case? Because they didn't alert the hospital that she had fallen. Right, so the big thing here is that, so she's at risk for suffering a brain bleed, right? right? She's on the anticoagulant. They don't call the doctor. The doctor could have sent her to the uh, emergency department for a CT or an MRI to check it out. So you're right, there is a case in that scenario. Well, thank you so much for that, Jeff. And if you're wondering whether or not you have a case, all you have to do is dial the threes. That's 333-3333 for the PKSD guarantee. Interested in appearing on Fox Focus? Email us at foxfocus at fox6now.com.